This is another version of Bangkok breakfast. Made to order omelet right here on the street. You got all these things you can put inside it. Carrot, green onion, mushroom. I asked for chili. My pet, my Aroy. Pet Aroy Gua. And this is the Nam. Nam Munaka. Yeah. So all that, two eggs. You'll notice when Thai people make an omelet, they put a lot of oil and they get it hot so that puffs up like that. So you get a different style than the Western omelet that's cooked in butter. They would never use butter here because they don't have cows. Not like in the West, you know? Carefully spreading it out. This is going to be a very fluffy omelet. D Jai Chung Lai Cup. It looks really nice. I like the way you can customize all the food in Thailand. And you got other stuff here. You want a little ketchup, or you can use this, of course. Maji seasoning sauce, or that kind of stuff. You add your own fish sauce if you want. So they have all these ready to go. The people on the go. Bangkok breakfast. Ooh. And this is something you don't see so often. Oh, and this is kind of a bitter herb. Mm -hmm. People put that in there. It's supposed to be good for your health. Oh, delicious. So you got mom, and dad, and their daughter. ยินสวยพี่ผมคิดว่าคุณเคยทําอันนี้ไลค์ครั้งเล่าใช่มั้ยไลค์ครั้งประมาณกี่ครั้งเล่าพี่ลุงร้อยลุงร้อยลุงล
people from the nearby uh, big banks are headquartered near here. You have hundreds of people coming down the street and coming to this restaurant to get takeaway food. They do a really brisk business. They do over two dozen dishes every day to feed people. I come early at 10 o'clock uh, to have some coffee and then eat for a while. Because nearby, near me will be, every table will be filled with regulars who eat inside. These are like old Thai dudes who have their table. And that's where they sit and no one else can sit at it during that period of lunch. It is their, uh, their roost, their nest. They would be called Ka Prachan, uh, which means regular leg, or like a regular, like if you go to a bar, everyone has their, their regular stool they sit on. It's the same, that, that kind of thing, except for food. This place is, is well worth visiting if you want to see the diamond on top of the cow poop. Derby King restaurant on uh, Hat Pong Soy One in steamy Bangkok. <laughs> Today is a great pleasure for me because I'm in one of my favorite restaurants in the whole world, my favorite restaurant in Bangkok. It's called the Derby King, and it's unusually good food in a highly unusual location. Uh, the unusual food is things like this. This is fermented pork, which is matured outside of the refrigerator for several days until it sours. It's not quite rotten. It's just mature or fermented. It's really good, and you eat it with the uh, shallot and ginger and peanuts. And then this is uh, stir-fried water spinach, or pak bu fried egg, this is called. And so you have uh, chilies and garlic. It has uh, oyster sauce and fish sauce. And then this uh, spinach that goes everywhere in Thailand. It's really delicious, very good for you. And then this is frog, minced frog meat in here with chilies, of course. And then this is a holy basil leaf. So most times you get, uh, in Western countries, sweet basil, the kind you would use for to make uh, pesto. But this is a Thai uh, type of basil that has uh, kind of a licorice taste and it makes this dish complete. What's unusual about this restaurant is its location. It's sort of like a beautiful diamond on top of some cow poop because the, the street it's on is in one of the most notorious red light districts called Pat Pong in, uh, in Bangkok where there's lots and lots of girly clubs. For example, one down the street is called Super Pussy. You can infer from that what you like. I have, I've never been inside because it's just not really my flavor. I'm more into rock and roll bars. But uh, certainly a lot of people come down here at night to shop and go to all the, the different clubs. And they also come here to eat this amazing food at the Derby King in steamy Bangkok.
Yeah. 